Published earlier this month, the study claims that warming temperatures and more precipitation are making it easier for subsurface contaminants to spread from more than 2,500 contaminated sites that include industrial and military sites. Drinking water sources in the far north are closely monitored, but researchers warn that the impact on Arctic wildlife is a concern. With the high cost of living through the Arctic, many communities rely on food gathered from the land and sea, mainly through hunting. Cambridge Bay MLA Fred Peterson says the results of this study are very concerning, especially with the other effects of climate change his community is witnessing on an annual basis. With, with the warm weather in the fall now, we, we've had a lot of rain and, and then it cooled off quite quickly. So covering the ground where the animals eat from is like a one inch sheet of ice right now. So, you know, how, how are they going to adapt to that and are they going to be able to feed themselves till they can cross to the mainland themselves over the ice and, and feed down on, on the mainland where they do in the wintertime. So, you know, that, that could affect uh, the, the number of caribou that can survive that type of thing, uh, you know, it's going to be a lot harder for them to work to be able to eat now.